for me now, I'm a storyteller. You, you're, I know you're surprised to hear that. But to me, that's the best way to make a point or to bring in something that they maybe, you know, they wouldn't have thought of otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, or they might be opposed to. Or they might be opposed to. Um, I, I know I told, I told a story recently. I was uh, a, the speaker at the Relay for Life out here. And um, in a way, that's very hard because you've only got a minute or two. You know, people are out there, it's cold. And, 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 but they want you to say something that's meaningful. And so I told the story about uh, my littlest girl. My, my, she was six when her dad died of cancer. And I told about sitting down with her and trying to explain to her what had happened to us and trying to imagine what was going to happen. And I could see, I mean, she's looking at me very anxiously, of course. And I said, I just, you know, I, I don't know, but I don't think Daddy's going to get better. And she said to me, but Mama, the love will go on, won't it, Mama? Doesn't the love go on? Mm -hmm. And of course, that's really true. Mm -hmm. It does. Mm -hmm. And so, see, you look for things in your own experience. Every one of us has unique experiences mm -hmm. that nobody, mm -hmm. nobody else has had. Mm -hmm. It's like... I was getting dressed, and my granddaughter came running in, and she had apparently not seen me in this state before. And she came running in and looked at me and said, oh, Grandma, how did you get all ruined like that? <laughs> and, and the terrible thing is, I was nowhere near as ruined then as I am now, but you know, it's just not there. <laughs> and that's the other thing. Did you see what I did? Um, I was worried about you. You felt bad about that story I told. And I, I don't mean, but I will immediately bring you up. Mm -hmm. And that's a thing that a speaker's got to be aware of. You've got to, it's hard for a beginner, and it's not going to be the range.